A cyber attack earlier this year saw 500,000 French patient records published online. This man made the discovery. Je visite, je surveille, je regarde les forums, les sites internet, les sites du dark web, du dark net. Et mes petits yeux ébahis quand j'ai lu 500 cas hospital France, oh, dans ma tête, ça fait And it's not an isolated incident. This year, hospitals in France, Ireland and Romania have all been victims of ransomware attacks, a ploy where cyber criminals block patient records, then demand payments for their release. With vital information inaccessible to staff, operations get cancelled, lives are put at risk. If it's an essential service, you want to make sure that it's very well protected. Well, it's data that you store at your, for example, at your municipality or your government, but it's also data that you store at web shops. MEPs want the EU to step up its game and are calling for closer cooperation between EU countries to counter cyber threats in all sectors. So you want to make sure that if we do business, for example, in Germany, Slovakia and Italy, that you have the same provision that will also guarantee you the same levels of cybersecurity across the European Union. Spending on cybersecurity by organisations in the EU is 41% lower than the US. MEPs want this to change. New cybersecurity legislation would improve the EU's level of protection. MEPs want better technical support for small and medium-sized businesses, a faster and simpler way of flagging up attacks, an EU-wide vulnerability database, and tailored national cybersecurity strategies for all EU countries.